Cho, and I took over for Sylvia Selvi Renick um, as the coordinator for Community Connect back in January. And I was very lucky because Sylvia had already created this really <coughs> fantastic program, and so it made my job easy to step in. And it's been my goal just to kind of keep it on that path towards success and growth. Um, we've had a really good year this year. Community Connect offered over 50 classes this year. Um, including the 12 that we have going right now that I'll get to in a minute. Um, we process over 300 registrations for our classes. We also helped host two really big events in town this year. Um, the first one being the Lake Rita Blanca Trash Bash in April, where we had nearly 300 volunteers show up and we collected over 10,000 pounds of trash. It was a really great event. It was really exciting to be part of that. We had a lot of support from the community. Um, the Delhart Junior High School, St. Anthony's Catholic Church, um, Cargill, Hillmar, they all helped make that as successful as it was. And so that was um, really fun to be a part of. We also brought an anti-bullying program um, to 5th and 6th grade girls here to Delhart with the help of the Girl Scouts and um, some other members of the community. We put that on in June and we had Jackie Kingston from Channel 4 News come and talk to our girls and talk about being a good friend and not bullying one another. And that was a really fun event as well. Um, so we've had a really, really great, um, successful year and I hope that we continue on in that. Um, one of the things that I'd like to talk to you today talk to you about today is um, our fall schedule, which I have a couple of flyers around. Um, but you can go online at any time and see our full schedule. Fall is usually a little bit quieter time of the year for us because people are getting back to school, they're getting in the routine, there's a lot of football, there's a lot of stuff going on, but we still were able um, to put some really fun classes together. One is going to be offered by Matt Talley. Um, he's going to be offering some computer basics for us. You know, just basic terminology, um, emailing, internet. So people who really are kind of intimidated by the computers can come to this class and become more comfortable and familiar with that. We have a computer class open to um, the whole community, and then we have one separate for seniors, citizens, so that they can maybe have a more comfortable environment where they can ask questions freely and go at a, at a pace they feel comfortable at. So we have from the end of September to October, computer for everyone, um, and then end of October to November, we have computer basics for seniors. We also have um, Learn to Draw. We have an art class for adults um, that is going to be taught by a local artist, Gloria Black, and it's going to be an eight-week class, and um, they meet every Tuesday for two hours, so I think that'll be a very, very fun class. She's a very gifted artist. Um, we also have several Brazilian embroidery classes. Um, if you look at the, um, the slideshow right now, it's on the piano. But we also have um, several pictures of Alice Leisure's work. She's offered a couple of classes so far this last year. And she'll be offering a class for beginners, for advanced beginners, and intermediate. That's uh, Brazilian embroidery. And so we'll be offering some of those classes as well. It's beautiful art. It also makes a wonderful gift. So for anybody who's interested, we have several of those classes offered this year. If you were um, looking through the pictures while you were eating, you might have seen um, some pictures from our beekeeping class. Um, we had an introduction to beekeeping this summer, and that was taught by Don Skiles. And the, during the fall, he's going to teach a class about backyard poultry. So if you're thinking about keeping duck, geese, or chicken in your backyard, that would be a good class to attend. Um, we also have um, a Make Your Own Headband class, also going to be done by Elise Leisure. So another great way to either gain some knitting skills or hone your knitting skills and have a good gift to give. And then for our kids, we have our monthly Taekwondo classes. They started last week, but there's still time to register um, for this month, or you can register in October or November. It goes every single month. So we have those classes as well. And um, then we're also going to have two piano classes. We have a Little Fingers piano for five and six-year-olds, which only has two spots left, and uh, one for seven to ten-year-olds. So those are always very popular classes, but they're filling up quickly. So. That is our fall um, session, and we're starting to plan our winter spring session. So if any of you have a secret hidden talent that you would like to share with the community, please let me know. Uh, email me or call me. I would have never thought to do introduction to beekeeping or backyard poultry, but uh, Mr. Skiles approached me and said people had asked him to teach it. So if you have any, any interest or special talents or skills, we are always happy um, to welcome new instructors at Community Connect. And um, I would just like to, to kind of take a minute to say that um, not only do we do you know, these classes, but I think the, the really neat thing about Community Connect and what
what I enjoy most about the job is that we're able to offer opportunities that otherwise just wouldn't exist. You know, we've offered piano classes for kids and adults throughout this whole year, and um, you can take piano lessons, you know, other places in town, but a private lesson is gonna cost you anywhere from 20 to $40. With Community Connect, we can offer piano lessons for $6 an hour, you know? And so we're making those kind of opportunities accessible to more people in the community. Um, Taekwondo is another really good example. We have a really great instructor. He taught for a long time, but it was too expensive to have a separate building to teach a class two times a night. And so by pooling resources, you know, he's a great instructor. Judge Field offered us a building at the court, um, court, the county court annex. Um, you know, a room that was pretty much layered, uh, empty most of the time. And so that's also the neat thing about this job is to see some of those resources within the community come together to offer those kind of opportunities. And it's a great way for kids to work on self-discipline and focus. And so we've been offering those classes since January and they're full every single month. Um, you know, Brazilian embroidery is something that we hadn't had in our community. And Alice came about a year or two ago and we've been offering those regularly. Something. So that's what I think is really important about this program. I think that's why we need it, um, and it's a lot of fun to, to be working together. Are there any questions? Angela, I might yeah. add that um, one really good thing about this program is that they're able to offer these things at a really minimal cost to people, and it just enhances the quality of life in our community. You might just tell them how you're funded. I mean, the yes. different funding agencies yeah. that, that help you. So we have five separate um, entities that help fund us. We have Dallum and Hartley County, um, the city, the school, and then Dallum and Hartley County Hospital District. They all um, work together to, to fund um, community connection. We could not exist without their, their generous support. Have you been doing any work or are there plans for you to work with or do anything with Frank Phillips now that they're... Um, we've talked about it a little bit. Um, one of the things that we're kind of focusing on is that Frank Phillips College is focusing on business needs, you know, community business needs, and we're focusing more on personal initial needs. Um, so they offer some, some computer classes, but it's more Microsoft Word, Excel, the program is what we would need in an office setting, and we're focusing more on personal needs. Um, and so, and, and we work together to help them get the ESL program um, going through to do that. It's a good fit with the college, and so we've been trying to help get it set up so that it's an affordable um, program that everyone in the community can, can use and benefit from. Um, and, and we've talked about maybe doing um, some co-branding of courses in the future, but right now I think Shane's got his hands full, um, just getting everything off the ground and going. Yeah. So, but yes, yeah, down the road for sure. And um, and we work together where we could so far. We're doing a great job. You can't imagine how many people you you take the ESL <laughs> classes. And Herman certainly can, and Ben can certainly relate to it because of the. Our community has changed so much in the last four or five years that that English as a second language is a, is a big, big, big thing. <laughs> it is. It really is. I mean, Community Connect offered that for several years, um, and we, our classes were always full. Um, Frank Phillips College started offering it in the spring, and, um, you know, they tried to get together for June 16th so they could offer it for free, but that fell through, and so they offered it, and it was a little more expensive than it would be, so now they kind of reorganized it so that um, it can be more affordable to more people because it was just full of people from companies, but we have a lot of people in the community who need to, that needs to be at an affordable price that everyone can, can take the class. The Lego camp. <laughs> the Lego camp was fantastic. Um, you know, and that's another neat thing about Community Connect. We also have um, a scholarship. We, we offer scholarships for those who can't afford it, we try to offer, you know, at very reasonable prices. Our classes are usually about five dollars an hour. Um, the Lego class, the Lego camp, is fifty-five dollars for a whole week for two hours, um, but that's that's um, subsidized. We we charge about half the cost of the camp. Um, and this year, our lo Lego logo, which is for four to six year olds, it was full. It filled up very quickly. Um, but then for the older kids, we only had about fifteen, um, but we were able to then give a scholarship to five kids in the community who really wanted to um, and had never participated in the campus 